My name is Frank D. Robinson Jr. from Memphis, Tennessee, born and raised. Went to University of Memphis and I went to graduate school at the Art Institute in Chicago. Got my master's in drawing and painting. I was in like the fourth grade. I got a ribbon for drawing and I just took off from there. I was always the artist. Even before I knew I was an artist, I was an artist. It kind of chooses you. It's like this, almost like this spirit. The challenge that I've had to deal with becoming an artist is just accepting myself as an artist. The big thing for me is just growing into yourself and accepting yourself for who you are. You just you. You run into people who go, you don't want to be an artist or you don't want to be a painter. People try to discourage you. Sometimes people say you're weird or sometimes people say your art is weird. But I was always, you know, drawing and painting and, you know, just just getting a feel for it. It, it. You know, things just became comfortable for me as far as my artist's voice. When I got to Chicago, I saw these so-called weird people, and I was like, those are my people. I, I feel right at home with these so-called weird people. Like I teach kids now, and I'll see the so-called weird kids, and I go, that was me. You know, so, I, like I need to reach out. What artists really need is nurturing. When you get a nurturing environment, things will flourish. In keeping with the nurturing environment, I'm the resident artist at, at the Caritas Village. I was teaching classes in the neighborhood to the kids every week, kind of giving back to the community. So my studio is up here. Uh, people have described my studio as a spiritual experience. Uh, that's one of the most interesting comments I got, but it's a lot to take in. Some people have to step outside and come back in. If I'm not actually painting, I'm sketching. And when I'm not sketching, you know, I'm always thinking about something. I mostly take trash and turn it into treasure. Basically, I take objects or people give me things and I transform them. I started using words to make people get into the work, you know. You might see the word love and you go, it reads as a door, but you go, it's, it's got words on it. And so you get closer and you see even more words. Or you step back and you see a face. You, you get right on it or step back and you realize it's a whole, it's a whole poem. I try to tell stories of people through objects. And a lot of times I use women because everybody come through women. I do a lot of health-related themes, diabetes, breast cancer, AIDS. We just had a benefit for Haiti. I became Mr. Breast Cancer just by doing breast cancer stuff. You know, I did a whole show dealing with breast cancer. And so I had to go to these little meetings of groups of women and they go, well, why are you doing stuff on breast cancer? And I go, well, I got four friends that are afflicted with breast cancer and I don't have any money, but, I, but by being an artist, I can create this awareness. I think it's important to have art in community. It'll make you see things in a different way. Sometimes you have to look for it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's right in front of your face. A lot of people want to make Memphis out to be something that it's not, but it's up to you to make Memphis the place that you want it to be. Quit complaining. You either embrace it or you move on. And like, I love Memphis. Memphis has a great story and I'm trying to tell that story. Hopefully people see it in my work. Like I'm this recyclist, so I'm picking up trash in Memphis. So hopefully I'm making it beautiful. It's a form of expression. I can, I can use anything to be expressive. That's probably the best thing about being an artist. Just being free, whether you recognize it or not, art is in the community.